Jesus Christ. Come, Jesus. Oh, now I like you, Jesus. Your power surpasses the power of that, Jesus. Oh, Ramachi, Ramachi.
and you'll be taken by suffering and the coming of Christ. And when you die before Christ comes, there's no time to repent. Oh God, oh Jesus, help me to pray you without ceasing, to recover life and identify the enemy. Oh Ramashikrini Kaba. So the devil uses things that are weak to tell the your body or your life, your life in life, excelment, achievement, to make you forget about God. No matter how good they are, do not forget them. Oh Jesus, help us to live all our life. The devil come to kill, to steal, and destroy. He has nothing for free. He told Jesus, if you are the son of God, draw yourself and the angel will hold you. He make you feel proud. He wanted Jesus to feel proud like God. But Jesus said, you don't shall not test the Lord your God. He told Jesus again, in form of a snake, that if you bow down and give you all this land, the devil promised well. That, and he can promise whatever you like most. It doesn't matter if it's whatever he can do just to lose the Lord to heaven, just to miss the new Jerusalem, especially for the coming of the end of days. The devil, you use all means possible at his disposal to make sure you lose direction to heaven, even blinding you with the light, the replica, but so you need to work for your children. You need to buy a mortgage. You need to work for your children. You need to build brought and houses and buy kind business. Do not forget that. May you and me, when we are full of food and blessing, do not forget God. The Bible says it is easier for a camel to go through the hole of a needle than a rich man to enter to heaven. Also, the Bible says in the book of Genesis that if you are full, do not forget God. God knew that our body, when we have achievement, we tend to forget God. But may we, even when we are blessed, forget God. When we are so pressed, that's when time we seek supernatural power. That's when you see us praying. But even when we are blessed, let's remember God. These are the days of the tribal, these are the days of the soul, these are the days of the end time, the signs, they are all visible. The devil makes you happy with an unessential, so you forget and miss out. And also do not forget that the devil is the father of lies. He can do all means possible to please or to show his God or his and show he doesn't agree or show himself like God. In fact he'll come in the form of a man, the Antichrist. Like as Jesus came in form of a man, man, the devil came in form of a man to rule the world with an iron fist. And he will use the force to end the end. But I tell you, he has nothing for free. It doesn't matter. He comes for it in another way. The devil has nothing. Everything belongs to God. But he will use things that our body, even the idea of property, to make sure he, the faith of the saints is tested to the mark. It is tested to the bottom of it. You'll be tested. But may God help us to stand firm. Then though we walk through the shadow of death, we shall share no evil. Even though the Bible says, what can separate us from the love of God? Is it sword? Is it tribulation? Is it death? There's nothing to separate us from the love of God. May us live for Jesus, even when the fire Burn more. Let Jesus refine us fire to make us holy, purified, made holy, set apart for Jesus. With God for us. Amen.